Hello and welcome to another How To Code Well web chat. My name is Peter Fisher and today we're going to talk about Elance, we're going to talk about Freelancer.com, we're going to talk about Udesk, all those um, race to the bottom bidding sites. And why do I say race to the bottom? Well, they are websites that you can bid on projects um, and it's usually the cheapest developer uh, gets the job. Not always, not all the time. I have used these in the past. So this web chat is really going to be a talk about my experiences with them and then how to progress from them if that's what you wish to do. And I do know that there are some people out there who are still using e Elance and they're making a good living off of Elance and that's perfectly, perfectly fine. But I'm just going to give you my take on it, my opinion on it. So I started using Elance um, and I think it was freelancer.com. Um, and I used it quite heavily back uh, several years ago. So my previous experience with these websites, in particular Elance, is getting clients from abroad. So I've done projects in uh, India, I've done projects in Chicago, I've done projects in New York and Texas. I've even done projects here in the UK, um, but it was, if I was to think of all the amount of time that I spent writing proposals, doing all of the, the, the leg work, all the admin stuff in order to get a proposal out there, to get a bid out there and to also monitor that proposal and keep trying to outbid the other bidders. That piece of admin work took quite a lot of time, a lot of resources and the fact that they were the clients were mostly abroad also meant that I had to stay up quite late in order to work against their time zones. And it was an up upward battle, an upward struggle. I do know that there are people out there who do make a fair living off of Elance and these other websites and fair play to them. They've obviously found a business model that works for them. But the problem I was having with these things was um, it, you were, you were basically, in a very big ocean full of these developers who could have a very, very, very small um, uh, fee. And I just couldn't compete with that. It wasn't sustainable at all. So one thing I did manage to do was get a client from Elance uh, here in the UK and I managed to get them off of Elance and they were my client directly. So we didn't have to go through Elance at all. And that was my sort of uh, goal all along with these kind of websites was to try and get a client who could leave Elance and come to me directly and use me as a, a, a web uh, developer. We had some frank conversations about the charges and the cuts that we both had to make because we were going through Elance, because we were going through that middleman type thing. So by taking a client off of Elance and going direct to me, both parties benefited. Um, both financially as well as through the communication. He was able to have Skype conversations with me directly. He was able to, to um, uh, talk about other projects without having to write out projects on, as a proposal. Um, and eventually it was a slow migration off of Elance and that was fine. Um, and that worked really well. Uh, I, I managed to get some, some better money because we didn't have to go through um, their payment gateway. So it was a direct thing to me, which was great. So the problem I see with Elance and the other websites, um, and the main reason why I, I stopped doing that um, relatively early on in the freelance stuff is because it's, it is a race to the bottom. You are up against um, so many other developers and these developers, they perhaps some of them don't really have the same level of passion. It's basically a stack it high, sell it cheap kind of development. And it, that, was a, that, that was the kind of the bottom of the barrel type stuff. So I care immensely about the quality of code and the level of service that I give my clients. I'm extremely passionate about web development. And I felt that when, um, when I was using Elance and, and those kind of websites, that couldn't get portrayed because I was swimming at the bottom of the barrel with everyone else. 
and the, the people who I was swimming with perhaps didn't have the same level of care and quality. It was basically a stack it high, sell it cheap kind of development. That was the kind of world that I didn't want to be in. So something that I used to do when I was with working on with clients with, with Elance is after I did a project, I would also do a, uh, a report on the other parts of the website. So for example, if I was just, just to fix a header, um, then I would produce a free report um, about their SEO. And I would um, recommend certain things that they could do. And I would also give that as a quote as well. It seems a bit, sounds a bit cheeky, but that was my way of kind of offering them some additional services after I had finished with that one particular project. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. Sometimes the client took that proposal and made other projects off of the back of that and because they didn't care about the quality of the work, they didn't really care about, um, they just wanted the work done, right? Now, sometimes it worked, sometimes they came back and said, yes, this is exactly what I was be looking for. And it was at that point, I would say, if you want me to do any of this stuff, then it would have to be off of Elance. But again, that took a large amount of time because not only did you have to bid for the project, you had to do the project and then you had to um, write a report and then a quote off the back of that, which you weren't being asked to do, right? Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. So I decided to, to uh, turn my back on Elance just because it was, it was a time resource hungry thing. Um, and also I just wasn't being paid enough to, to live. Um, it was kind of a stopgap, if you will. Um, and I, I don't know, maybe I'll have to do it later on in, in, in life when, if things get tough work-wise, I hope not, because that is, that is a very, in my opinion, a, a horrible place to be. But look, uh, one piece of advice that I would like to give, because I have read in various places that, um, you know, the sky is falling, web development is dying and, and because we're up against so many of these, um, these stack it high, sell it cheap developers that, um, that the, the web development is just not a, a reasonable career to take. Now, I totally, to, totally disagree with that. Um, what you need to do is, is basically KBO, keep buggering on and diversify find something that a niche, find uh, another um, evolution, if you will, of your career. So something I've mentioned before is that if you are a JavaScript developer and you're finding it tough to get JavaScript roles, then what you could do is start writing mobile apps because you can write mobile apps in JavaScript. Use Alloy.js, use Accelerator, use Titanium, um, use PhoneGap your skills as a JavaScript developer are very transferable to other things. So I'm not gonna sit here and say that Elance is terrible because it obviously works for some people. Um, and some people I know have made a fair amount off of the back of Elance. It's a lot of work. It's a lot, a lot of work. But the, 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 one of the main reasons why I came off of Elance was simply because I was chasing, chasing and chasing and I started getting into the mindset of stacking it high and selling it cheap, just because that was the, the program that you had to um, adhere to in order to do it. And that was a complete contradiction to what my beliefs are with web development, high quality code, high quality service for the client. I just couldn't achieve that. And I felt that every time I was knocking my price down, it would just be, it's a bad reflection on the quality of my work. So what I recommend is for anyone who's using Elance is to give it a, a, a give it a fair shot, give it a go, give it maybe two weeks, and then keep reviewing it. Keep reviewing it fortnightly, um, and it might work as a as a little stopgap. You might find that you you get lots of work off of it, and and if you do, then fair play. But I'm going to leave it there. If you've had an experience with Elance or any of the other websites I've mentioned today then put them down in the comments section below and let's have a little discussion about it. Follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at PFWD as well as subscribe to get the next web chat that I do 
each Friday, as well as the tutorials that I've been pushing out. So at the moment, I've been doing a lot of HTML tutorials, as well as PHP tutorials, but I've also got Docker um, and MySQL tutorials as well. Happy coding. I'll see you again next week. Cheers.